This week on The Real Housewives of Potomac. Surprising me. She's not the person that I thought she was. I didn't even know TJ was a bean to spill. The way it was conveyed to me, you just had a friend. She talks about Vivian all the time. If TJ is just a Yo, friend. Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about the new episode of The Real Housewives of Potomac, Season 9, Episode 3. Let's get right into it. You guys, I am really enjoying this new season of Potomac. It feels like a refreshed new show, but like it's still the same, but it just feels much more... I don't know how to explain it, but I, I, I've i been liking it. What I will say, though, is they showed the taglines of this episode. I did not like that they changed the music. Bring back the old music, please. But anyway, we begin this episode with Mia, Stacy, and Jassy strolling into Giselle's event. They just left Karen's, but as y'all remember, Giselle had planned her event well before. And Karen decided to invite everybody to her event the day of. So Giselle thinks that it's very rude and disrespectful. So as the ladies are walking on in, Giselle says, no, 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 no. Police leave. William. William was the security. Stacy was mad. She says to Ashley, Ashley, did you not tell us to be here by 8 o'clock? And Ashley's like, yeah, but it's 8.04, so y'all are late. <laughs> Giselle says, this isn't even a conversation get out so stacy and mia get out stacy seemed very offended and mia she was just saying this is so classless i get why they felt like this though because at the end of the day they got there you know they they arrived and they could have stayed but i feel like giselle was just so upset that they had decided to go to karen's event first so i understand both sides in a way Ashley then gets out there to the van to ask for donations. Now, Ashley, how are you going to ask for donations to the people that were just kicked out? I can't. Now, Jassy, let me tell y'all, Jassy was not having it. When she saw Ashley coming out there, she closed that door in her face. That was a lot. So, it is then the next day, and some of the girls meet up at Stacy's house. Jassy and Ashley were there first. Both Stacy and Jassy say that they thought that the GNA was gangsters and alcohol. That's what it turned to. Jazzy does tell Ashley that she's sorry that the sprinter door closed on her. But y'all, yeah, not Ashley over here talking about she was sore from the door. Come on now, Ashley. You know you didn't get hurt by that. Karen then gets there, and Ashley does what Ashley does best, ask the messy questions. But this time, I think they were a little warranted, in my opinion. She's asking Karen about her event. Like... How she just invite everybody all of a sudden. And Karen says that it was a very prestigious and important event for her. And Ashley says, well, when I asked you about it, you couldn't even tell me what the award was for. Karen says, well, I didn't tell you because I was at an inquisition. Again, that was not an inquisition at all. And Ashley says, well, you were kind of doing a lot of deflections that day. But, you know, Karen is the grand dame after all, so she can read, and she hit Ashley back. She said to Ashley, I know you ain't talking about me deflecting because when Michael was pinching ass one, two, and three, you couldn't say anything. Damn. She says, then Karen says, I, this is a case where I could have died. And Ashley says, or taken the life of someone else. Boom. Ashley is mad at, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Karen is mad at Ashley because the day of her birthday party, Ashley gifted her Uber gift cards. So Karen says, I know you were being messy and I should have given them back to you so that you could take that human acorn off your foot. Ashley says, you coming for my bunions? I have two of them. Ashley then says, you should worry about you not having jail time. Oof. The girls also say that they all want an apology from Giselle. But listen, as annoying as Ashley is, I do think that she was on point about this. Karen has been deflecting on various, on this specific issue. And actually, guys, in current time, just this week, this past week, Karen tried to have the charges dismissed, but that judge said, hell no. So Karen can run circles around these girls, but not the judge, not the law. All right, so then we see Wendy. She's with her mom. Her mom was preparing some food. She had this giant dried up fish out of the freezer that uh, Wendy's little girl looked like she was scared. 
Wendy tells her mom that they are having a girl's trip to South Carolina and it's going to coincide with Wendy's birthday so they will celebrate there. Wendy also tells her mom that recently Eddie's dad wished her a happy Mother's Day. Remember there's a lot of drama with Wendy's mom and Andy, Eddie's parents. No one knows why but we just know that there's drama. However, because Wendy is turning 40 and she's going to have this huge birthday party, she wants to extend an olive branch and invite Eddie's parents to the party. I don't know why, but something's telling me that Wendy's mom might have a lot to do with this whole drama, but I don't know. Okay, so then we see Kriana. Kriana's mom comes to visit her in the house that she's staying in, which is her boyfriend Greg's house. They're building a new house together, though. So they're just saying there while well, that finishes. So she was cooking some food and whatnot. And then the mom asks, when is Kriana going to get married to this man? And Kriana says, I don't want to be that thirsty girl looking for the ring. Huh? That confused me. You building a whole house with a man to live together. Well, I mean, you're already living together. But y'all going to live in a house together that you're building. And you think that wanting a ring is being thirsty? That just sounds crazy to me. If he want it, he's going to put a ring on it. But that's her thing. I don't know that logic. In the next scene, Giselle's daughters are getting their hair done and makeup because they're going to like a prom or like a formal. And Jamal is also there. So Giselle and him are seeing, you know, them get ready, be prepared to leave to the dance, telling them what time to get home, you know, just being parents. In her confessional, they did ask Giselle about Jamal having a, girl, a new girlfriend. Now listen here. It's very nice to see Jamal there with his daughters for this important for these important moments. I think that it's very nice and important. But I don't want to hear nothing about Jamal Bryant stating with all the rumors about him that there are out there and all the nasty things. Uh uh. But yeah, overall, nice scene. Moving right along, Mr. Inc. is now on the show. Mia and him rented out an Airbnb. She says that they do that on occasions because they like to have some privacy since Gordon lives in the same apartment complex as her. This was a little get-together because Mia's kids were there and then Jacqueline comes over with her kids and then Jacqueline brings her boyfriend who she's on and off with. So it looks like Mia isn't the only one with a crazy dysfunctional relationship. So Jacqueline asks Mia, how are things with Gordon and her? And I'm going to need me to relax, take it down a notch. It's refreshing. Don't get me wrong. It's refreshing to see people that are open and real and not afraid to put their true selves out there. But Mia goes too far, sharing too many personal things like, oh, Gordon had a hangnail and I had to clip it and I had to wash his coffee cup. Like Mia, this is your kid's father. Please be mindful of that. So the, in the next scene, we are introduced to Stacy. Her friend that she's dating, this man that she's dating, and she, who she's not hooking up with. But if we're going to be real, she shouldn't even be dating if she's not divorced. That's just my opinion. But they're working out together, which I do love. I think a couple that works out together st stays together where I really do. But she keeps asking him, oh, you're going to sleep with me? And he's like, no, I'm going to have to wait till I have a wife. Which, if that is true, I totally support it and I commend him because I saw... I was so disappointed in the social media reaction towards this guy. I hate that people automatically assume that because a man, a grown man wants to wait till he has a wife to sleep with her, that might all of a sudden that they start questioning his sexuality. Like, I think it's a sad time in society that if a man had, like, it's too far-fetched for people to believe that a man can have Christian values that their first thought is, oh, he must be gay. Like, come on, y'all, don't do that. But after the workout, her friend TJ is asking, where are things going with your divorce? But Stacy's like, I don't really want to talk about that. But I was like, Stacy, you got to. How else is this man going to marry you? So then we see another scene with Mia and Ink. She was baking some cookies. She talks to Ink about this girl trip that they're going to. Everybody's going. And by the way, Mia met with Giselle. Giselle did apologize for kicking her out. Giselle said that her anger was for Karen, not them. Then Ink asks, how is Karen doing? And Mia is being messy. She starts laughing at the fact that Karen has a, a court date, a criminal court. Now, I don't really like the way Mia's going about it either because I want Karen to be held accountable. I said that from day one. I want, I want somebody to drag her and tell her the risk that she was putting not just herself but other innocent people. 
However, I feel like Mia isn't real. That's not her point. I feel like her bringing all of this up is to intentionally be messy and get at Karen. But it's not the significance of it. If that makes any sense. Let me know if you understand what I'm saying. So then we see Giselle meet up with Ashley, Wendy, Stacy, and Stacy. St wait, Stacy and Jassy. Okay, that confused me a little bit. Ashley, Wendy, Stacy, and Jassy. Giselle says that she don't want these girls to be under Karen's spell, so I she, she's trying to be nice to them. And she was actually very nice when they came on in, and they're surprised because you know, the last time they saw her, she kicked them out. But just like she told Mia, she tells them that her anger was directed at Karen, not at them, so she again apologizes. Giselle then asks Stacy about her family, like just trying to get to know her a little bit more, and Stacy says, you know, I have uh, one eight-year-old daughter, uh, I'm going through a divorce after 16 years, all this stuff. And Giselle says, do you want a divorce? Because you sound sad. Stacy says, yeah, I'm never going to be not sad about a divorce. Ashley says, well, she has a good friend, so she's good. But wait, y'all. Stacy then says, Ashley, I have brought you into my home talking about my marriage and child. Then you're going to spill my business over a charcuterie. This is about my daughter's mental health. And Ashley was just like, oh, I didn't know this was a secret. I didn't know that. Now, again, y'all, I know Ashley's annoying and all this stuff, but Stacy has told Ashley about her man on camera. And not to mention, she brought the man on camera. So I don't, if I were Ashley, I, I too wouldn't under, like, I, I wouldn't think it's a secret. Like, if you've told me about it, you brought him on the show. Why, if we're in a group, you know, in, in, a, in a setting of a group, and a friends and I like I don't know that was a little weird to me I'm sorry so then we see all the girls go to the airport for their girls trip when they get there they split up in two different vehicles and one of the vehicles it was Giselle and Wendy in one of them and they were talking a lot you guys so it looks like they're definitely on a good path and also I didn't know that Giselle's Catholic now that was interesting Karen and Mia were in another one just the two of them and Mia asks Karen how are things going? And Karen says, I can't talk about it. And Mia says, but it's on the internet. And Karen says, then read about it. Oh my gosh. And that was the end of the episode. But you guys, it looks like it. this trip is going to be a bomb. I can't wait. All hell is going to break loose with all the girls. So I'm telling you, Potomac is on its game this season. I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, this was a good episode. Let me know what your thoughts were about Stacy. Her friend, Stacy going being mad at Ashley for revealing her friend. Anything you want to tell me about the episode, let me know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. You have a great one. Bye.